Morena, beautiful people. I got a much better sleep last night and I'm feeling oh, a hell of a lot better. And it helps that when I'm walking, I listen to my audio box. So my walking time is also my time of personal development. And I find it, even though I have a humongous library, physical, whole room devoted to books, I find it somehow much easier to listen to non-fiction through my earphones. We all need to find ways that, that work for us, not ways that we think should work for us. It brings me to some thoughts that I came on to share about what we truly believe. Not just about ourselves, but about the world. At one stage in my life, I believed that belief was the most powerful force in the universe. This was me, a uh, semi-agnostic at that time, I suppose. And my favorite saying was, all gods are real if you believe in them. And I put the human at that time, not saying that I do so now, but at that time I put the human at the center of the universe. My beliefs have, have developed <laughs> a huge way since then. Uh, we won't go into those, into a spiritual ramble right now. But what I will, what, what I really wanted to talk about was how beliefs about yourself and about the world really affect affect everything about your experience, your life, your productivity, your depth of living, or the opposite. I guess it's also in a way a discussion about identity and what that really means. I used to think identity was straight out who I was and that there wasn't any changing that. One of my favorite sayings again when I was a teenager, good old teenagers, I'm having a bit of that come back at me right now with my own kids. But one of my favorite sayings was, here I am take me for me, I am me, but go get, that, that was me as a teenager, and again that was me as I started to reclaim some of what I thought I'd lost of myself uh, after, after difficulties in, in relationship and uh, in hindsight, what I was reclaiming was everything that I believed about myself. Everything that I had collected over my life. Everything that I thought I should be to be cool, to be hip, to be tough, to be manly because yes, there is a lot of pressure on women in this world to be manly, which is wrong because the feminine has a strength, as I've discovered later in life, all of its own. But in those days, I was, I was caught up in full-on self-expression, but that self-expression wasn't even self-expression, it was everyone else's ideas of self-expression that had influenced me like peer pressure but I was too blind to see it I was asleep and I thought I was awake so 
so what I believed about the world and what I believed about myself at that time was indeed shaping my reality just as it is now but as we wake up to this truly and consciously begin to examine our beliefs and how they are truly affecting us that's when the real work begins because then it's not about just wearing all the layers of identity that other people have put on us it's about taking them off it's about removing them it's about getting naked back to your soul and then consciously applying layers that serve you